pada di situs bersejarah. Aku nggak sendirian loh. Aku bersama teman-teman arkeolog. Wuh, asik banget loh. Ikutin perjalanan kita terus ya. yang ditunjuk di peta. Coba kalian lihat. Benar kan? Benar benar. Ye, kita Yeay. berhasil menemukannya. Yeay. Teman-teman, apa sih itu artinya arkeologi? Arkeologi adalah ilmu yang mempelajari tentang Aktivitas manusia di masa lalu melalui kajian sistematis atas data benda-benda yang ditinggalkan. Artinya mereka menggali tanah untuk menemukan barang-barang lama dan memberitahu seperti apa orang zaman dulu itu. Contohnya setelah ribuan tahun mereka menggali kamarku dan menemukanku sebagai seorang legend. Arkeologi itu bukan mitos loh, tetapi... Bukti sejarah. Ya sih, tapi banyak orang lebih percaya itu mitos daripada sains loh. Apa maksudmu? Orang lebih percaya mitos. Apa kamu percaya Alkitab? Apa kamu percaya Yesus? Hmm, tentu saja. Nah, kalau kamu belajar arkeologi, maka kamu akan menemukan bahwa arkeologi itu membuktikan tidak mungkin Alkitab itu benar. Hmm... Menurutku justru sebaliknya, arkeologi itu bukti sejarah, kejadian yang sungguh-sungguh terjadi di masa lalu. Dengan penemuan arkeologi, kita mendapat gambaran apa yang telah dan benar-benar terjadi di masa lalu. Nah, seperti kitab-kitab kuno ini, kita bisa belajar sejarah kerajaan-kerajaan yang pernah ada di sini karena penemuan kitab-kitab kuno seperti ini. Sama seperti perkamen-perkamen yang ditemukan di Israel yang isinya membuktikan bahwa Alkitab itu berisikan kebenaran. Aku punya video dokumenter seorang arkeolog tentang penemuan perkamen. Yuk kita lihat bersama. You ready, Barney? When I say action, you hit record. Okay, wait, are you already recording? How do we get our modern Bibles? That's what we're gonna find out. Bibles used to look like this. Scribes carefully copied the words of the Bible onto long scrolls. Now, keep in mind, they couldn't put the whole Bible on one scroll. Sometimes they could only fit one book on one scroll. Over the years, archaeologists have uncovered many, many old pieces of the Bible that were often carefully preserved in pottery, kind of like this. Crazy. Am I right? Do you guys see this? It has been keeping my delicious sandwich fresh for days. Observe. <laughs> Barney, no more tuna surprise sandwiches. It smells like feet. Sorry. And I don't know why, but for some reason it makes me cry. One of the oldest Bibles that we have today is over 1,600 years old. That's only a few hundred years after Jesus and his disciples walked on the earth. Modern biblical scholars can compare what's in our Bibles today with the increasing number of really old scripture portions uncovered by archaeologists. Here's what they find. Our Bible today is extremely reliable. But you might be thinking, how do I know that our Bible is as old as it says? Well, let me show you. Inside this building are the Dead Sea Scrolls. They were discovered over 70 years ago and were preserved in jars of clay. They are a collection of bits and pieces of very old documents. 
Among the documents discovered was an almost complete copy of the book of Isaiah. This scroll is over 2,000 years old. When scholars compare what's written on the Dead Sea Scrolls to what's written in our Bibles today, they find that our Bibles are extremely accurate and reliable. In Luke chapter 4, the Bible says that Jesus read from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. We can be confident that the words Jesus read are the same words in our Bibles today. Bethlehem! Wait, wait, Barney, move a little bit that way. Wait, move back that way. No, 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 too far. Go back. The prophet Isaiah wrote that God would send a savior to save his people. That's in our Bibles too, in Isaiah chapter nine, verse six. Then the prophet Micah wrote that this savior would be born in Bethlehem. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years after these prophets made these promises, Jesus was born right here in Bethlehem. Amazing, right? Okay, Barney, let's do that again. But this time when I say that Jesus was born right here in Bethlehem, move your arms up and down. No, not like that, just. Archeology span has shown us that we can be confident that, that what's written in our Bibles is accurate and trustworthy. Plus, what God promised through the prophets was fulfilled in Jesus right in Bethlehem. I mean, archeology span is the coolest.